It's been half a year since the election, and I still believe neither political party has really figured out what happened. For me, anger was the key thing that sent voters to the polls then. You know, long before Donald Trump said that he would run, I pointed to anger as a growing force in American politics. Working and middle-income people of every race tired of seeing decisions made about them, their country, their planet, that left them out. They blame both parties who preach two different brands of a something for nothing gospel. The Democrats rally people with talk of free college, expanded health care, all by just taxing the rich. Something for nothing. Republicans claim that they can cut your illegal immigration, improve roads, health care, and defense, all while cutting the budget deficit and returning more of your tax money. Again, something for nothing and left behind the real job creators, not the companies and CEOs with their fat profits and bonuses, the workers at businesses big and small who, when they had a real job, went out and bought washers and dryers, cars and houses, which encouraged those companies to go out and hire more employees to make them. But they're all gone now, left behind by those parties. And last November, racing between the two or three jobs they have to have now to earn half of what they used to, they lashed out helped propel Donald Trump into the White House, put wind in the sails of the Bernie Sanders campaign. Anger may not be a good strategy, but last election it worked some wonders. People tired of the same old, same old. And it's not over yet. You can comment on Facebook. Look for WFAA-TV.